The last and final Warzone update is here, and I got you guys with a brand new AR gameplay, the TR76 Geist, I believe it's called. And I'm not going to lie to you, man, this thing is super, super good and might just contend in the current meta after all the buffs and nerfs kind of shake out and we actually see what the metas are. If you guys do enjoy this brand new season update gameplay, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel. I do want to shout out the Noti Gang, and I hope you guys enjoy. Alrighty, season six of Warzone 2. The final season until MW3 releases. Which what? MW3 beta for PlayStation comes out in, in what? Two weeks or something? Let's see how this goes. Guy landed right below us. Obviously, just like every single update, there's a bunch of new changes and stuff. Now, what those changes are, we shall talk about. We got... Well, I actually didn't look at the patch notes in terms of, like, bugs and stuff. All I know is I played a couple of games. The UAV bug is still not fixed. But today's video, obviously, we're using, like, the TR. UAV in this sector. The TR-76 Geist, I think it's called. And by the... At the time that I'm filming this, the... What's it called? The battle pass doesn't work, so I couldn't actually unlock the other SMG. I was going to use both of them in the video today, but I literally can't. It, it, the battle pass is broken, so I can't even get the SMG if I wanted to. And then I can't even buy the Black Cell bundle because Black Cell's broken too. So I don't know what's going on there. Hopefully that gets fixed soon. So I was just rocking the MP5. Speaking of the MP5, it did not receive a nerf, which is kind of mind-blowing to me. I feel like it has by far been the most dominant SMG. But, to be fair, it does seem like that they're trying to kind of, instead of just nerfing the good guns, kind of trying to buff the bad guns, which I've suggested for a while, because they're extremely, extremely modest with the way that they nerf. So, if they buff a gun that is already decent... It may actually cause some, some shift in the meta. Unlikely, to be honest. But you never know. Like what? There are a couple SMGs got buffed. Like uh, the mini buck got buffed. What else got buffed? The mini buck. Oh my. Well, it seems like the ISO is still insane. The mini buck got buffed. The MX9 got buffed. And a couple other guns as well. There were 18 buffs in the entire update and a bunch of nerfs as well. There's so many nerfs and buffs that I, I couldn't even pull up the graphic. I was trying to pull it up before going for this gameplay. But like I said, there's just so many that I literally couldn't pull it up. Where'd this guy go? There was a guy around. There was a guy around. Where did he go? Also, where's this entire lobby at? Where is this entire lobby? Okay, I see a guy over here. Let's, let's go over here. So the MW3 beta comes out in like 10 days, I believe it is. I think not this weekend, but next weekend for PlayStation. Let me know in the comments if you guys are excited for the beta. Or if you guys are kind of not excited because, I don't know. For me, I'm, I'm just skeptical. Like this game, I don't even mean it. I don't know. I mean, I do mean it in a bad way but this game was so bad that it's kind of hard for me to kind of quote unquote trust that the next game is going to be good at all so i guess we'll see that's really all we can do all we can really do is hope all we can do is hope that the new game is good that ar though the new ar looks like it's kind of kind of frying loki what are these guys on roof here Yeah, I agree, brother. The MP5 is still crazy. Like, see, these are the things where it's like, I, it has to be on purpose because they just released an MP5 bundle. It has to be. Because the MP5 has been good for how long now? I was about to say, I don't like running down the I mean, the MP5 has been good for seriously months. Months. It's been good. And it didn't get nerfed at all? 
There were 18 buffs in seven nerfs, and the MP5, the best, most common SMG in the game, isn't nerfed. Now, I don't really care that much about, like, SMGs specifically. I do care a lot about ARs getting buffed and nerfed. I don't know what it is for me, but when an AR is meta for a long time, it's get, it gets way more boring than when, than when an SMG gets buffed or nerfed. And I think that's just because all SMGs kind of feel the same. And when it comes to SMGs, like, I just want a good iron sight and good damage, good movement. And that's pretty much what the MP5 brings. I don't really care too much about the logistics of it. Like, I think the ISO and the MP5 are the best SMGs in the game. There's really not much else to it. And I don't really mind it. I don't know if I'm crazy. But, yeah, I don't really, I don't really mind it at all. But when it comes to ARs, I usually go through phases. Like, sometimes I want AR metas to be no recoil metas, which I, I'm not the biggest fan of no recoil metas, like the Growl or the Lockman 556 and stuff like that. But I'm also a massive fan of metas with, like, the Tac V, the Cronin, where all these guns have, like, massive recoil patterns where it actually takes skill to use. Or if you guys remember Warzone 1, my favorite AR meta ever was the EM2 meta. That meta was so much fun. Because that meta actually took like, not even a little bit of skill. That gun took a lot of skill to be able to control. All right. Let's tr keep trying out this new AR. Trying to find some people. I thought there was going to be some people out this way. Oh, later. This guy's probably going to chase, right? Dude, this thing's good, bro. I think you're going to see some people using that thing as an SMG and an AR, which is always, like, really cool. It's really cool for me when we get guns with that can be SMGs and ARs. Now, again, I, I think the problem with it is going to be the movement. And in Warzone 1, you can get away with a lot less weapon movement, if that makes sense. Uh, but in this game, I don't know if you can get away with it as much because, I mean, you already have, there's already, like, no movement outplayability. So when you have a gun that makes you feel like a snail, it's even worse to not have movement speed. Even worse to not have movement speed on your close range weapon, which is why, like I was saying, guns like the MP5 and stuff are always going to be really good. Hey, those guys actually see us. Now, where are they... I'm kind of being cautious, because, one, I was just getting hunted. Moving. And there were people over here on the UAV that I called in, but I don't really know where they went. I don't know where they went at all, actually. There we go. There they are. What are they all, both in that zipline room? I think they are, bro. So let's actually just sneak up the staircase. They're playing like some absolute rats. Yeah, so I think we'll, what, we'll probably get, I'm trying to think, we'll get. Hold on. I'm trying to think, we'll get one more update, the Season 6 Reloaded update. And then after that, it's just straight to MW3. Now, I don't know if I'm wrong. People can correct me if I am wrong. But what was the how, what was it like in Warzone 1? The final, it was like one final update. And then it was... But the final update won't really have too much content in it, I don't believe. Because, like, why would they... 
Dude, these guys are just gonna completely start camping and ratting in here. Aw, oh, man. There's like... There wasn't too much content in that final season. Obviously, because they're just waiting for that new game to drop. Let's actually get one more UAV. I want to get one more UAV. Actually, let's get two. Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm dead here. 100%. Dude, how did they not? Dude, they didn't push me when I when I got scanned. I thought I was done. I thought I was done for when I got scanned right there. Thankfully not, but I thought I was going to be finished, bro. All right, let's take roof here. I think these guys are kind of ratting below together. Going to be really, really hard to push. They might try to rotate, though. I don't know if they will, bro. They, it sounds like they are very, very locked in together here. I think we just get out. They're just going to stay super, super. Uh, are you kidding me? The second that I move. And now I might be dead. This has to be a joke, bro. The second that I move. They might run right into me, bro. No, bro. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. No way, man. Oh, also the Chimera, the gun, the gun, the gun that the guy just killed me with, also got buff. But I've also always really, 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 really liked the Chimera. Let's should we spectate the rest of the game? I guess we could spectate the rest of the game. I mean, I feel like we talked about pretty much. Oops, I don't want to report. I feel like we pretty much talked about everything that's going on in the update. All the weapons, the buffs, nerfs, passed off seven six two, nerfed. A bunch of weapons received buffs, like the Chimera that just killed us. A bunch of actually, oh, one thing we haven't talked about is the player skins are actually really, really, really fire. Uh, all the Halloween bundles and stuff. So that's one thing that's really cool. Um, what else? New gun. Tomorrow's video will most likely be the ISO 11, I believe it's called. It's kind of a, a, a smaller caliber SMG. Which is going to be interesting because the ISO 45 hits so damn hard that I, I, I don't really know if it, anything's going to happen. Um, anything else? The Call of Duty Halloween haunting update happens in 20 days, I believe it is. Oh, that guy's got the, the, the tree skin. There's like a, um, a Gaia skin. I don't know how you say it. G-A-I-A? G-A-I-A? Like some tree skin or something like that. Not exactly sure. But yeah, I think that's pretty much everything that's in the season six update. I don't really know if I want to stay spectating the rest of this game. It's probably going to take a while. I might just end the video here. Yeah, I think I'm going to end the video and just hop into the class setup. Now, here are the attachments we were rocking on the TR-76. Guys, obviously, we got the 45 round mag with the high velocity, F-Tag Ripper, ZLR Talon, and the Bruin Grip, or the Bruin Barrel. I don't have the tuning unlocked. It's not fully leveled up. Actually, it's level one somehow, which makes no sense to me. I've used it, like, for about an hour now. But uh, yeah, here are the attachments. If you guys want a fully updated loadout in like a week or two, let me know in the comments. Try this one out for yourself, though. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.